I yield two minutes to my friend from Oklahoma. The gentleman from Oklahoma is recognized for two minutes. Friend from Texas. Uh, Title 42 expires tomorrow, and as Republicans are advancing the most conservative border bill ever, uh, this administration is going to usher in more chaos on the southern border. Uh, it's going to be quite the contrast for the American people to witness. Border Patrol agents are already seeing a surge, 26,000 illegals apprehended in a 72-hour period. This is on top of 5 million illegal Im immigrants that have come into this nation within a two-year period. That's more than the entire population of the state of Oklahoma, the state which I'm a representative of. House Republicans have a plan. And it's the bill before us, the Secure Border Act of 2023, which would resume wall construction. And that includes the 200 plus miles of wall that was fully funded by Congress, but shut down when President Biden, uh, in, in contrast to what the Constitution says, with his pen said, not another foot. This bill is going to deploy more technology. It's going to increase Border Patrol agents. It's going to end catch and release. Notice to appear in front of a judge has become notice to disappear under this administration. Securing the border used to be a bipartisan issue. In fact, President Biden supported the Secure Fence Act of 2006 when he was a United States Senator. That bill included physical barriers, 150 mile of wall built under the Obama administration. Here is what then Senator Biden in his own words said, why I believe the fence is needed does not have anything to do with immigration as much as drugs. And let me tell you something, folks. People are driving across that border with tons, tons, hear me, tons of everything from byproducts, from meth to cocaine to heroin. It's coming up from corrupt Mexico. That was then Senator Biden. This statement is long before the fentanyl crisis where 70,000 people in the United States died last year because of fentanyl poisoning the leading cause of death between ages 18 and 45. And the Biden's own patrol agent disagrees with this administration. Reserve. Members